Hello and welcome to SAP on Microsoft Azure. My name is Holger Buchholt and in this video I want to take a closer look at Power Apps and Power Automate and how you can use it to connect to your SAP systems using OData. Power Apps and Power Automate are part of Microsoft Power Platform, which is basically a no-code, low-code platform that spans across multiple products and allows you to easily build new applications that connect to different data sources. In a previous video, my colleague Sachin had already outlined how you can use the new SAP ERP connector to connect from Power Automate to SAP systems using BARPs and RFCs and how you could then create a Power App out of this. In this video, I want to show you how you can actually use OData to connect to your systems and build applications. We're going to do this by leveraging a custom connector. You can build your own custom connector, but actually we have published a connector that is already configured and uses the OData service from the SAP Gateway developer system ES5. So we can clone the code from GitHub and then get started with this immediately. So what are we going to do with this? I have prepared my environment already and installed Python. I've installed the Power Platform Connectors CLI and I also cloned the repo for the SAP OData collector. With these steps, we are ready to actually get started to install the new custom connector and create a small power app out of this. So I'm here in the folder where I cloned the SAP OData connector from GitHub. You can see here the different JSON files and the first thing that we need to do is we need to log in with our Power Apps connector to the Power Platform. So I do a PA con login. Then I select this URL here. Switch to the browser. And I can enter a code in a second. Perfect. Now I can um, publish the connector by referencing the settings.json file. So I'm doing a pacon create s settings.json. So I need to select my environment here. In this case, it's just the default one. Maybe you have more um, than just select the one that you need. So if I switch over now to my power app, this is the home screen. And then I navigate to data custom connectors. I can see the custom connector that we have just uploaded. So this is now my SAP OData um, sample connector. So if I switch over to the App Studio, then I can actually import the Canvas app that is already available as a demo in the GitHub repository. So I click on um, open, then uh, search. I select the Power App. And that's basically it. Now you can see um, the basic screen, the default screen that we did. Um, of course, I, I do have some error messages. These error messages are simply because the related buttons are not yet connected to my custom connector that I previously installed. So if I go in here to the different data sources, I can see that my custom connector that I just installed is not yet associated um, with this specific Power App. So what I need to do is I need to add this custom connector first. When doing this, this custom connector asks me for a username and password. And this is the username and password of the SAP ES5 um, developer gateway system. So with these changes, the Power App is actually ready to be used. So I can just, for example, give it a try here. I can refresh, ref, refresh the page. I get all my data back from the SAP system. So now I'm ready. I can save and publish um, this Power App.
So with this, I've released the Power App. I have now a URL. I, I can distribute this um, URL to my colleagues and my colleagues can just um, open up um, this specific Power App. They can see a list of products. So I can scroll down here. I can um, highlight some of the, the, the products and I get the data back that you're also very familiar with um, from the SAP ES5 system. But now I'm not only seeing this information in Power App, but I can actually switch over to SAP Fiori, to the Fiori user interface. And there obviously I can see the very same information that I just saw in the Power application. So if I log in here, so for example, if I look here for this 10 inch portable DVD player, you can get all the details. And if I do the same in the Power application, then I can also see the list here. Well, it's in German here, but basically you get the idea. So uh, Power Apps just uses the German language um, to connect here or to retrieve the list of products um, from the ES5 system. So now what about updating the information? Well, this demo application actually does not yet have the update functionality implemented. So if I would do these changes, then you can see I get this um, on select um, issue. So let's actually switch back to the Power App application. Um, here, you can see if I um, activate this button, then it says me, well, we need to implement this specific flow. So let's do this. Um, let's create um, a specific flow or Power Automate to do this. So I'll open up flow and I'll create a new flow here. We'll do it uh, an instant flow and we call it um, update um, SAP data. We'll use um, a power app to trigger as a trigger and we'll start with a blank screen. So now the first step that we need to do is we need to retrieve the information from the SAP system and, and get an XCSRF token. So I'll select our SAP sample collector. I select the get product um, functionality, or the product action. And what I want, I would obviously want to um, get a, pr a certain product ID. I want to specify, update a certain product ID. So I get this information from Power App and I'll just um, add a fetch um, information to actually tell the SAP system that I need to fetch this CSRF token. Then um, what I actually want to do, I want to update my product. So I'll um, select the update um, product step and we'll use this specific action. Before the product ID, um, or in, in, in the first step, we will need to specify um, the product ID, obviously. Then we can add the CSRF token that we previously retrieved in the, in the previous step. And now I can just go through the list. So um, we need to specify the cookie handler. Um, the cookie is something that, that is a little more complicated. So I need to replace comma and semicolons um, just to, to uh, make sure all of this is done. All the documentation is actually also um, available in the GitHub repo. So you can find all the steps there um, as well. Um, similar with the e-tag, I'll, I'll just take the information um, from the Power App. Then I'll do the same for the name. I'll also um, ask for the information from my specific Power App. I'll do the same for description and let's select the price as the last item here. Perfect. So that's basically it. Um, we can save this flow. Uh, we could potentially also test it, but since we need um, some input data there coming from the Power App, I'll just leave it like this. But now um, we have this flow saved. Everything is here and we can head back to our power application. Any, yeah. What we'll, we will do here is we'll add a new action. Uh, we'll add a power automate flow. I have now this update SAP data and it's being added to our power app. So now we just need to pass the parameters that we have defined. So the product ID, um, the e tag, uh, the product text, the description, the product name, the description, and uh, the price. So I can save this again. I can publish it. And um, now we could just uh, uh, test it out again.
So if I head over to the other page and if I refresh um, the, the whole scenario, then I can actually, yeah, let's take a look at again at our portable DVD player. So I'll select the portable DVD player and let's change the price from 10.49 to 5.49. Um, I'll click OK. And you see the first good thing is we don't get an error message. So, so that looks um, really good. But what we can also do is actually we can take a look at our flow because our flow should have been triggered. So if I refresh this page here, I can see there was one successful run. So perfect. And if I click in this um, run, I can actually see the details that were sent over to the SAP system and that were also retrieved from the SAP system. So here, for example, I can see that we fetched Hopefully here we fetch the CSRF token and then we get um, some information back. And also then we can update the information. Um, and for example, here you can see the price 549. If I switch over to the Fiori application, um, you can see still see the old price here. But if I refresh the screen or if I go into the details, then you can see that the price was changed and I can really um, have the updated um, price here also in the Fiori application. So leveraging this custom connector um, gives me really a very easy and quick way to get started and see what is possible with using OData. If you want to create your very own OData connector, then actually, well, you can do this. Um, you can create your own um, um, custom connector with Power Apps. Uh, you can just actually select um, an open API as an entry point. So I click here on new custom connector. I click on import an open API, basically a Swagger configuration. And out of this Swagger configuration, you can create your own custom connector. Actually, that's exactly what we did um, to, to create this um, demo um, open connector. Okay, I hope that gave you a quick overview of what you can do with Power Apps and that you not only can use the existing SAP ERP connector, but it, which allows you to connect to Barpiece, but you can actually use Power Apps to also connect to an OData service. I mean, very much like with all the SAP Fiori application, you can consume these OData services now also in Power App and also have update and create scenarios. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay healthy and see you soon.